if let's say Aleppo falls like Qusayr falls, that means that buffer zone, the de facto buffer zone that was between yourself and the Assad regime will go because after Aleppo, the rest will, will, will follow in a domino effect. Would you intervene to, to stop if Aleppo falls? I, I, I think then it, it, will be, it will be a huge mistake for the regime and for those who are supporting the regime on the ground to attack Aleppo if they do such a mistake. I am sure there will be a huge resistance and um, the, um, unfortunately many people will be lost again and the aggression of the re regime and supporters will be very visible. And Qusayr has shown, has alarmed all of us and the reports coming from Qusayr are so tragic that uh, the injured people even were not allowed to, uh, to leave. And, but after Qusayr, you can see uh, both American statement and making, being more serious on chemical issues, but also even as important as this one. Uh, yesterday, the statement of uh, Egyptian President Morsi is very important, uh, that uh, uh, Egypt was one of the rare Arab countries still keeping relations with the regime, uh, having embassies, etc. They closed down because they, it is also an indication that uh, Syrian regime is being more and more isolated. And the message from uh, Egypt as a leading nation of the region and of the Arab world and of the Muslim world is important because Egypt proposed last year to work with Iran, Saudi Arabia, Turkey. Yes. And now if Egypt makes this uh, statement because of Qusayr against Hezbollah and uh, even uh, uh, regarding the Iranian support, uh, Iran, Syrian regime is getting more and more isolated. Mm -hmm. Therefore, I don't think that uh, such an attack in Aleppo will be without any response by international community and by the neighboring countries all of us. And uh, such a humanita uh, humanitarian tragedy being repeated in Aleppo will create a huge reaction. This is the, the regime and followers should not be doing such a huge mistake. Mr. Minister, thank you very much for talking to Al Jazeera.